Hello and welcome to my special update for the Tropical Atlantic and uh, we're here this evening because the National Hurricane Center has finally pulled the trigger on this storm right here. It seems the center is, seems to be right over the middle of Florida and we're going to take a look at what it has to say. Widespread showers and thunderstorms extending across Florida, the Bahamas, and the adjacent Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico waters are associated with the elongated surface trough interacting with an upper level disturbance. Although a weak surface load could form along the surface trough just off the east coast of Florida and move northward towards Georgia and South Carolina on Tuesday and Wednesday, the low is not expected to become a tropical cyclone due to strong upper level winds. And uh, they will be uh, posting their uh, next special tropical outlook at 9 a.m. tomorrow or, or sooner. And uh, formations for both the 48 hour and 5 day forecast is 20%. So the NHC is finally kept keeping their eyes out on this. And a little bit later, with uh, the 10 or 11 o'clock update. I'm going to be going over the Eastern Pacific storm, so that'll be then. But first, we're going to pay attention to this little little system right here. All right, let's take a look at the GFS and see where this storm is going to be going. This is the 18Z run, and this is initiated valid at 12 uh, uh, zero Z, which is left roughly 12 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So. Uh, the storm is going to be right in here, and it's it's definitely bringing a lot of heavy rainfall. Here where I live, we probably have already gotten three, four, five inches of rain. I would imagine here in Port St. Lucie. So let's go out in uh, time and see where the storm is going to be going. As you can see, it pretty much meanders near or close to Florida within with uh pretty much the next 24 hours as it moves off to the north and at around the 48 hour mark it goes right into South Carolina by the looks of things yeah South Carolina North Carolina border is where it's going to be going in making landfall whether it's a depression or a storm or just a trough as the National Hurricane Center says it's going to be um, I do believe it has a good, a slight chance of, uh, of development because, uh, just as quick as the wind shears can form, I think the wind shear can just as much die down just as quickly as it forms. And, uh, I just feel like that's gonna happen. So instead of the 20%, me personally, I'm giving it a 40%. But as I said, we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. So let's go back and let's go out in time some more. We're going to go out to the 240 mark. Yep. Uh, there's that, uh, we're going to go to the 240 mark. We go out to the 16 day. Uh, or not 16, but uh, as far as uh, the GFS can go out at this point in time. You know, this it looks like there's a storm trying to creep up there in the Caribbean, but as again, this is what if, what could happen. Let's so take the, all of this with a grain of salt until the time actually comes for this. But as far as the next 48 hours after that, we don't have to really worry about much of anything. Unless something just randomly pops up and then we'll just have to worry about it then. All right, let's go over rainfall amounts. We're going to go 48 hours out. And as you see, for the next 48 hours, Florida is going to be getting at least two to five, maybe six more inches of rain here on the coast. And uh, elsewhere, Florida is going to pick up about two inches, give or take an inch. Let's go out farther. You see about Georgia and South Carolina. Looks like Georgia and South Carolina are going to get between two and six inches of rain for the majority of the states. So you got to be watching out for a little bit of flooding 
here in Jordan, South Carolina, you definitely have to look uh, look out for flooding in uh, Florida because, I mean, with the rain we've already gotten, I'm sure some places have already seen 8 to 10 inches of rain already. Uh, especially down here in the southern tip of Florida. That's where uh, I believe most of the heaviest rain have, have been. So, yeah, this is your rainfall amounts for the next five days. And now we're going to go take a look at the visible. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole blobby mess. But the NHC is looking at keeping an eye out for it. And I do believe I see the low level spin right in here, right over the middle of Florida. But as you can see, it's all stretched out and uh, combobulated. So that's that upper level wind shear that is uh, that is causing mayhem on the system. But I do believe that the wind shear might die down. Uh, this still has about two to three days over water still. So, you know, anything can happen in those two to three days even. I mean, even the short term is uncertain. And I have, I've been through that situation before and uh, keeping track of that stuff is just not fun. Uh, but yeah, this is the system right here. And as you see, all stretched out from Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, Bahamas, Cuba, going into freaking the Cancun. This system is all over the place. Anyways, this is my update for right now. I will have another update later this evening around 10, 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on both the Pacific and the Atlantic systems. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon.